Hey hey, I'm Kifwen. If you own a Clip Studio Paint license, you'll know about the 3D models that appear in the sidebar of your program. These models are commonly used by webtoon artists to help speed up the process, but I barely see them as commonplace use for regular artists. So I want to talk about how we can use them. If you open Clip Studio, the portal and not the art app version, Quickly under the asset store you will be able to search and find custom 3D models made by creators and officially licensed ones. With the Clip Studio license you actually own the rights to these models. You can search for specific terms or just browse the popular ones in the catalogue. They go from wholesome to spicy if that's what you'd be looking for. I mean, if you want to pay me to draw with some of those models, I'd totally do it. <laughs> Although do keep in mind some of these models made by individual creators have certain different licensing than the official ones, so just keep that in mind when using them. Now open your Clip Studio Paint back up. Go to the sidebar and go to the download section to look at all your shiny new models, or you can go into the 3D tab and source the ones that will automatically in Clip Studio Paint. Personally, for this video I have chosen to use one of the default CSP ones, just for ease of following and understanding. Then, with this model, I decided to do some good old quick tracing, just to get myself a really good idea of the shapes and the form. You'll see later in this video, I got more and more and more frustrated at trying to understand the pose and the angle, because I was just like, huh, this is not working at all. But this is something really good to do when referencing 3D models. Just trace over the shape, or even a photo ref. Trace it, try and understand, move away from it, and then try again. I kept getting more and more frustrated at the fact I wasn't able to recreate what the model was perfectly without tracing, as the idea of tracing bad has been so drilled into mine and many other artists' heads. But then I remembered this is exactly what the tool is intended for. Clip Studio Paint 3D models are intended to be bases for artists, whether to help learn or just generally speed up the process. From there, I redid a rough sketch directly over the top of the 3D model and edited with my own stylistic choices and anatomy so that this wouldn't present itself as some kind of freaky amalgamation of a stretched out and distorted Pietrame. As what I wanted to show in this video, is how to use these to a great advantage. After I had a sketch that I had created through the tracing and referencing of this 3D model, I got started on my line work. But I need to talk about the advantages of using these models within Clip Studio Paint or why you'd even bother. I know many people are probably thinking, why not just use a photo reference or even an online site? With Clip Studio Paint models, they are incredibly customizable, such as the camera, lighting, body types, gender, and manga's perspective. With user-generated models, you are able to have and use far less realistic bodies, and this makes it super versatile. Along with all this, with how Clip Studio Paint's licensing works, there are no copyright issues to worry about, unlike a photo reference could potentially cause. Back to my artwork, I was having a super hard time getting my line work in a direction that I wanted, as I was feeling my more cartoonish style simply was not cutting it for this. So I went back to the Clip Studio Accent store and found a painterly brush by a Japanese user, I hope I'm not butchering this, Momi Mamina, which I have displayed on the side here in case you want to give it a try. I'll also tag the brushes that were made by me, which I used in the sketching process in case anyone was interested. These are the brushes I use regularly in my artworks, just not in this one. So what is there to be learned? Personally, I view these models as an invaluable asset for artists and webcomic creators alike. Not only are they a great learning tool, but they are also something that helps speed up the process and potentially allow for artists to create beyond their usual limits. So to recap, to use these models, find the perfect one and trace to reference and learn to your heart's content. With references like these, there's nothing you can't draw. After all this, here's the final artwork. I hope you like it and thank you so much for watching.